America, turn your eyes on Jesus. Go forth in his grace. Look unto Jesus. He is the author and finisher of your faith and not man. For America, the beautiful, shall be restored and returned back to its people. Return back to its people. Return back and put in the hands of its people. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's what I heard as I finished praying, obviously earlier, uh, a few moments ago, and then uh, blowing the shofar. Oh my God. This is This is heavy. This is heavy, but I am going to obviously obey. And I'm going to read this. Daniel 11, starting at chapter number 36. The scripture says, The king would do as he pleases, <laughs> exalting himself and claiming to be greater than every god. <laughs> even blaspheming the God, capital G, of all gods, lower G. This is Daniel starting uh, 11, starting at verse 36. He will succeed, but only until the time of wrath is completed. So that tells me the king will, cons oh my God but continue with his wicked and evil deed until the appointed time shows up. Because why he's claiming to be greater than every God on earth, even the God, capital G of all gods. America has a king, and I tell you, it is no King David. Mm-mm. America's king right now is a King Saul. And the kingdom shall be taken away from Saul and given to one that the Lord has appointed for such a time as this that he can trust to do his will. So the king blaspheming the God of gods but he is allowed to blaspheme the God of God. He is allowed to cause trouble and turmoil all across this nation. The king is permitted to do so. The king is permitted to control every agency across this nation at the moment. Oh, yes, it is allowable. Mm -hmm. It is 100% allowable. Is it acceptable? No, but it is allowable. There's a difference. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He will succeed, but only until the time of wrath is completed. So that tells me the Lord is preparing a time of wrath and is not done yet. <laughs> my, 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 glory to God. I told you this was heavy. The Lord is preparing the time of wrath for the king of this nation, and that time has not yet come. For what has been determined will surely take place. What God has determined will surely take place. What God has ordained will surely take place. What God has appointed will surely take place. What the Lord has approved of will surely take place. 
the king that is evil and wicked and exalt himself against God and blaspheme, the God of all gods, his time of wrath is being prepared in accordance with the word. It's not completed yet. So everything that we see is allowed. But God. But God. For when the time has been determined, when the time of reckoning arrives, the scripture says, for what has been determined will surely, surely come to pass. Just like surely goodness and mercy will follow you. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. The time that the Lord has appointed and determined will surely take place in America. Well, as we come with praying for America and spending time with the word, we stick with the word. Amen. Can't go wrong with the word. And so, Father, I thank you, I praise you, and I bless you. You have set a time and place for yourself at your appointed time. Father, you know when to move. You said that vengeance is mine, declares the Lord, I will repay. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That despite the king in the nation, that has been allowed to cause the chaos, exalting themselves and claiming to be greater than everybody else, claiming to be untouchable than everybody else in the country. Even manipulating you, Father. You said that they will succeed, but their success is short term. Ooh, glory to God. Their success is short-term and shall be short-lived. Why? For what has been determined by your hand, Father, will surely take place. Speed the day. And let your will be done in the USA. We give you thanks and praise. For this nation shall remain one nation under God. This nation shall remain in God we trust. This nation shall remain as a city on a hill. And every foul excrement and every foul demonic spirits and every foul, filthy, oh my God, stench that has been allowed in this nation shall be blooded out, flushed out, cleansed out and removed suddenly, swiftly at your determined place and time. We will be so careful, God, to give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. For we know none of this can be done without your intervention. Intervene, Lord, intervene. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the outcome bring you glory. Let the outcome bring you praise. Let the outcome show to the nation that you are God. And beside you, there is no other. In Jesus' miraculous name. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. This is a heavy word. Look for it to come to pass suddenly.
Until the next time, keep the armor of God on and continue to stand in Jesus' name. Shalom.